Hi guys, so if you're interested in heavy gear and you fancy having uh, an idea of what some of the factions are about, um, well, Daryl and I are going to have a chat about some of them. The first one being the Northern faction. Uh, these are the guys, of course, that are into revisionism, which is uh, one of the, the, well, the religion of, yeah. uh, of Terra Nova. They are uh, fanatical, you may say. Some, well, of, some, them some, of, them, some of them religion. are. Some of them are. Um, basically, you're... Uh, you're the northern faction are the guys that have the big blocky robots. Yeah. So uh, you know they're not the they're not your anime your, style. Your uh, cool sleek, southerners. No, they're, they're they're not they're not the sleek <laughs> sleek Japanese style ones. They're yeah. the good big American square uh, Detroit Solid Detroit Lake style. <laughs> yes, Detroit <laughs> muscle, muscle cars. Style. Yes, the factory will be empty in a few years' time <laughs> that's it, that's as it. it's all been moved to India. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are your big guys that are basically like. Uh, here's a bit of armor. We'll rivet it on here That's for it. another That's piece. These, these guys, these go. guys are the muscle cars, and of course, they're they're generally their faction. That's what they do. They've got the big guns. They've got the big, accurate artillery guns. Yeah, the the ones that just make Dave disappear. <laughs> What's it? Where was Dave? He's, Dave's, was Dave's gone. He's <laughs> Dave's gone. gone. <laughs> See a bit of dust. That was Dave. <laughs> that was Dave. Yeah. Dave, got, Dave got hit by a heavy rail gun. <laughs> heavy, heavy rail guns or very heavy field guns that do the yep. ridiculous times. 28 or 20 times 30 something, something damage. Yeah, massive, they, massive damage. They are the ones that you that you want to just absolutely get rid of a gear. There's there's yeah. no damage there. It's just gone. It's been yeah. vaporized. Yeah, when you, when you're doing times 32 damage and all like there's there's very very few gears can even stand a shot like that. It's, no. it's not going to either cripple all their systems if they're very lucky, or just again the pink mist. <laughs> pink mist. <laughs> He's gone. Uh, it's it's the thing is if you haven't played this before, you've got boxes of damage, and once a gun does three boxes of damage, like one box of damage could be, it's usually in between sort of five and 20-ish. And mm -hmm. if you're in a times 32 gun, all you have to do is plus two. Yeah, times, times and, two. And if the person even has 20, they're gone. Yep, you know? that's it. The, yeah. um, I mean, the, the, I've just, I've, I'm looking at some of my notes here, just, just so I can remind myself. Snub cannons are one of the big ones that they have as well. Uh, snub cannons are the big artillery piece. They're the, the, the the guns and that fire they, massive distance and they're reasonably accurate yeah. over over long distances. They can as be, well. uh, I think, spotted and whatnot. Yeah. As well, they can be guided in, and they they work really well. It is this. The North as well seem to have really good armor. Yeah. You know, uh, well, not all of the North because there is some <laughs> factions. <laughs> yeah. But that, which we'll get to. Yep. They have some really good armor as well, combined with these big, accurate, long-range guns. But obviously, you get less big, accurate, long-range guns. Yeah, well, that's it. they're expensive, but yeah. but still points wise. Po points wise, it also but it also means that if you're playing on a board like this, where you're playing maybe end to end rather than side to side, um, you know, having long range guns like that are just massive, especially when you've got things like uh, the troops. If you have some of the troops, who only move a few inches, like yeah. they're going they're going nowhere on a big board like this. So uh, they really know. need transports, APCs, yeah. and things like that. There, but if if one of these big guns hits your APC, aye. Again, it's, it's, it's the, painful. A death can. <laughs> <laughs> a traveling death. in my death can. Uh, exactly. So yeah, good shooting, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, the good, accurate artillery shooting are the uh, the, uh, the way of the north. They've also got uh, the super tanks as well because some of these these weapons are so big that they have to go on tanks. That's your heavy rail guns and your field guns and stuff yeah. as well. As as soon as we got these books, first thing we looked through was. Which guns do the most damage, right? <laughs> which, which vehicles? Or, and then it goes down to, which gun doesn't necessarily do the most damage, but which but, one's the most accurate that yeah. I, can, I can hit most and, often with? And is the cheapest. There's, there's <laughs> just some between damage, availability, and, and point, points-wise, you know, and you go, I'd have that one. I'll have multiples of he, that, please. He yeah. may be on a guy that's got no armor, but he's got a great that's shot. It, that's it. What was it? Light, light field guns were pretty good. Yeah, one of light, them, so. all the field guns and all the real guns pretty much <laughs> yeah. hand out the pain. They do. That's it. So um, then we get the, the sub-factions of the North. Then the North, of course, just generally being uh, one of the factions. It's obviously the one yeah. from up North. But there are sub-factions then, which each of which have uh, some some benefits depending on uh, on which one you pick. So the first one then we have is the, the Norlite Armed Forces, um, who are basically the Northern League's uh, military force. They have our favourite pious warriors. So yes, they have found God. <laughs> if, if you've watched... Revisionism. What, what's <laughs> they found revisionism. What's that uh, Clint Eastwood movie where uh, they're all mining for gold? And he pretends to be a priest or a uh, minister or something. Pale Rider. Pale Rider. It's like the bad guy in Pale Rider says, you know, <laughs> as soon as they've found God, they'll fight to the death. You know, some guy's getting paid to fight. We'll fight until it's no longer, the sum doesn't work out well for him. 
But yeah. once you've found God or Allah or, or Ganesh, you, you'll <laughs> fight to the death. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, uh, yeah, in this, what they get is that they have, they have the choice of getting some chaplains and warrior monks. If I remember rightly, the warrior monks are the guys that have the, the big uh, close combat weapons yeah. as well. They have the, the big like, halberd, uh, double-ended double sticks. Any of it's so, called a warrior monk has to be good. Well, yeah, that's it. Um, of course, that, that the, the fact that they're pious gives them some rerolls and things like that. So, you know, if, if that's the sort of thing you like, if you like, of course, your religious warriors, then I, pretty much get get those guys painted up in, I their, love in guys your favorite, and your favorite colors capes and all that there. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the, the Norlite can also have uh, cheetahs, of course, as well. So that's some of the forward observing type gears. They can swap out some yeah. of their guys for uh, for cheetah gears as well. Each each of the factions have their own. Uh, once you get into sub factions, they have their own different availability yep. and uh, of some of the different gears. Where there's a balance to be had, depending on what style of game mm. you like to play. There's there's that balance to be had well, across it. Well, well again, uh, we find this a lot across a lot of the factions that um, when you take one of the sub factions, m most of the time they'll have the ability to swap out certain gears for either maybe gears that are available to another faction or gears that are only available to them. Or you know some of the really good stuff, the really good gears that uh, they get more of and can have, you know, can swap out more of their more of their gears for it. I mean, th this is the um, the basis of all the factions and all, all the the, uh, the the sort of cool stuff you can get. And it's also where the cheese is. It's also <laughs> where the cheese is. <laughs> yeah. If if we move on to what the other sub factions, the United Mercantile Federation Federation yep. Army, they. Their main thing is swapping hunters out for tigers, yeah, and that's that's their main thing. Obviously, being mercantile, I would dare say they're like battle Tesco's. Yeah, battle Tesco's. <laughs> they, uh, you know, this is this is what some of the sub factions are doing. Again, it's building towards yep. how you like to play the game, and it's not setting everybody with this standard, like what we would call force organization yep. that you're stuck with. Once you get into your sub faction, you can do it for yourself. That's it, and of course, all 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 of these things can be done on the the gear garage. So you just uh, it, it's the automated system that you can build up your uh, your gear forces with. Um, it'll do it all for you if you want to swap all all those things out. So the 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 other one then is the Western Frontier Protectorate Army. The yeah, the poorest of them all. The poorest, yeah. the guys that have the le the least amount of iron to strap onto their gears, or <laughs> maybe take some of the iron off it because their gears become cheaper and well, more numerous. Well, that's it, um, and of course. That's the point. The, that's the, your sub faction if you want to have swarms of guys. Bears so, and Razorbacks and things yeah, like that there. They all it. get. Uh, yeah, they can do it. Unfortunately, they die in droves. <laughs> Generally, <laughs> yeah. if you have less armor. But yeah. as we said previously, if you're going to get vaporized by a big gun, I'd rather have three cheap gears than one big gear that's going to get vaporized equally as easy. So there's, yeah. there's some balance to be had in that there. I am a big fan and across all games of having lots of guys. Yes. There's, Spamming. There's, there's, <laughs> Spamming there's a balance to be had of having lots of guys because if the other person turns up and he's got two or three big gears with real guns on it, you can only kill two or three year guys at a time. Yeah. But if you've turned up with 20 guys, you're going, yeah, you can kill a couple of turns, well, but well, you'll never kill enough of us before we get you. That's it. I mean, of course, there are, there are area effect weapons and things in the game, but the, the North um, specialise in long range sort of single shot artillery. Um, but again, there are explosions too. So uh, once you start getting into the the, the, the realms of oh, I can have loads of these guys, well, you, you will have loads of them, but they're all going to be reasonably close together in most cases, yeah. which means that they're then vulnerable to a big, a big blasted shot. You yeah, know? if you get uh, outflanked and things like that there and spot it, you start to yeah. become vulnerable. But you've got lots of guys to die for you. <laughs> you have the, the last, I think, faction and the main one is just the Northern Guard who are just the ubiquitous yeah. Northern guys that uh, just have access to most things, but they pay for it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Uh, I mean, again, the North um, is are, are the guys to play. If you, if you fancy having your either religious army or maybe your swarm of uh, reasonably cheap guys, the other factions can usually can do some sort of uh, swarm uh, army as well. But uh, it depends what sort of gears you particularly like. And the North, then, as, as Daryl says, get uh, bears and, and grizzlies and things like that. And so yeah. some of the, uh, some of the, the, the more colourfully named gears <laughs> than, uh, yep. than the others. And, and they're all upright and they've got to lead them on. To exactly, them exactly. warrior monks. We are, warrior monks. we are correct. We have, we, I had a vision last night. He told me I was correct. <laughs> that's it. So guys, there you go. That's that's just an overview of the of the northern faction and some of the sub-factions in it. Uh, we'll get on and we'll have a look at some of the, the other factions uh, for heavy gear and we'll tell you about those.